Laura, not a good day for tourists in our city, huh? No, it's not, Andre. And every year, thousands of people come here for their chance to go up in the St. Louis Arch, also tour the old courthouse. But let's hope not too many people had today, October 1st, circled on their calendars as the day to enjoy either of those landmarks. I hate to tell you, but both of those will remain closed during this government shutdown. I asked the FBI official, what exactly does that mean? Can you clarify that a little bit more for any of the neighbors who might live around here? And I asked them about safety if these cuts go through. Both of them said that the East St. Louis Fire Department would be able to receive mutual aid. That's a service that a lot of departments actually share with each other. Police tell me that both sides of the interstate were closed down for more than four hours. And she described this suspect as the type of neighbor anyone would want. So how have those students impacted this massive district? And if you're a parent and you come to this meeting tonight, will you get a chance to have your voice heard? I know from experience that the FBI is very easy to work with, but officials are very tight lipped. And a cam could be turned off because of this. You know, I would. See if you can come up with Panda Cam on your iPhone. Uh, the iPad's giving me grief. Must be a government iPad we're using today. What'd you get? <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. See, it's still running. There it is. Kind of looks like she's eating her young, but she's not. Happening today. Get ready to see dozens of athletes dangling from one of the tallest hotels in downtown St. Louis. Yeah, they're doing it to raise a half a million dollars for Special Olympic athletes right here in Missouri. More than 100 people will raffle at the annual over the Edge event today, it's at the Four Seasons. You're watching video of two of our own News 4 This Morning team members. This was shot yesterday. <laughs> News 4 This Morning reporter Laura Hedegar and assignment editor Drew Mitchell did the 300-foot raffle. Each participant has to raise $1,000, the money that will stay right here helping St. Louis Special Olympians. News 4 talked to two of the rapplers who will go down around noon today. As many years as Special Olympics do has done things for me, I wanted to give back to them, and this is my way of giving back. We're just trying to let everybody know, those uh, with developmental disabilities, that we have a program for them that would really bring joy to their lives. Captain Moran tells us if you come up with $1,000, he will find a way to make <laughs> sure you can go over the edge today as well. Nice and job props to, to Laura. Laura and Drew. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, that's right. Both of them. Okay. <laughs>